Back here at the Southwood County Recreation Center, and the both teams just making their way onto the ice, and we're going to be getting it underway momentarily. I do want to tell you about these two clubs. Again, two teams that uh, faced off last year in the WIA High School Hockey Tournament in the sectional final, and it was a win for the Red Raiders last year in a uh, neutral site. This uh, for the sectional final. And uh, of course, the Red Raiders with the uh, uh, number one seed hosting this sectional semifinal game here tonight. But this is a West Salem club with some good talent, with some quality players. Taylor Trapp uh, for one, he's got 32 goals here on this season. Bailey Martin, 31 goals on the season. Uh, so you're talking about some people who can put the biscuit in the basket, as they like to say. So it's going to be a uh, tough, tough go here for the Lincoln Red Raiders. But of course, when you get to the tournament and we start getting the sectional semifinals and finals, well, it's going to be tough. And that, that's the one thing that's that's key in these games. You, you play and you come up with, uh, with big efforts and you come up with the big uh, plays when you need it. The records for these clubs, 17-7 and one is the West Salem Panthers coming into tonight. Their head coach is Bob Monroe, their JV coach, and an assistant is Eric Borg, who of course was part of the coaching staff for the Lincoln Red Raiders for the past six years. And the Lincoln Red Raiders, their record on the season, 22 wins, two losses, and also co-champions of the Wisconsin Valley Conference. Right now the starting lineup being introduced here tonight. As in goal for the Lincoln Red Raiders, they will start Tyler Gilbert. He will be in net. Gilbert will be uh, manning the pipes as Gilbert comes into tonight's game with a record of 21-2, 22-2 I should say. Goals against average of 1.53, save percentage of a little over 92%. On the other side, the goaltender for the Panthers of West Salem, it is Julian Grosskopf with a record of 17 and 7 and 1, and a goals against average of 2.08, a save percentage of just under 91%. We'll have the opening faceoff coming your way right after we take this 90 second timeout as you're listening to High School Hockey on AM 1320 WFHR. Surrounding their goaltenders, the West Salem Panthers goaltender, Grosskopf, manning the pipes and the net to our right, and the uh, Panthers of West Salem wearing their orange uniforms with the black and white trim, while the Lincoln Red Raiders wearing their red uniforms, red jersey, red hats, red leggings, and the white numeral and the white uh, trim as we get ready for the start of the game. And again, Tyler Gilbert in goal to our left. Ready to get things underway here tonight. 
Glad to have you along here listening in on AM 1320, WFHR, and WFHR.com. We're here at WFHR, Wisconsin Rapids. We're proud to be part of the broadcast here and thank our sponsors for being a part of this broadcast. Starting front line for the Red Raiders, their number one line with Matt Edwards, Caleb Schroer, and Luke Cruiser up front. The Casey Esselman and Grant Shermer at the defense. And here we go as the draw is controlled by the Red Raiders as Cruiser will backhand it into the zone. They go chasing after it. Schroer trying to get control of it. He gets bumped off the puck and West Salem trying to get out of their zone. But here's Edwards with a nice steal. He's tripped up in the high slot. Chasing after his Schroer, but he loses control and back comes West Salem. Coming across and getting bumped along the near boards is Mike Burt Heffer. And they played around the boards there and held in on the far side. Cross ice pass made by Bailey Martin, knocked down by the defense. And Esselman will come out of there with it. He loses control of the puck. And West Salem gains control. Backhander out back in the slot. Picked up loose there, and Cruiser has it. He'll headman it up to Schroer, who can't control the pass. But now Esselman will dump it in deep. Along to the near boards, Edwards has it. Edwards comes heels out of there with it, but he gets played off the puck. And Esselman re-steals it there for the Red Raiders, who play it back into the zone. Get a wholesale change here for the Red Raiders as West Salem breaks out of their own end. There's the pass up on the right wing. They get it out there to Ben Pierce. Pierce in the corner, getting bumped off the play there by the Red Raiders' Sam Storley. Along the near boards, coming out of there with it, and stick handling nicely is Gage Simon. Simon gets poke checked off the puck, played along the far boards and back into the zone by West Salem as Bailey Martin plays it back in. Early going this first period, no score between the Lincoln Red Raiders and the West Salem Panthers, and an icing call against the Red Raiders. will send the faceoff all the way down into the Red Raiders zone to the right of goaltender Tyler Gilbert. Just starting here, 15.30 left in the first period as the puck played along the near boards. Back deeper into the zone by West Salem. Now paid play back behind the net as Jacob Mormon. They work it along the far boards. And it's played back deeper by West Salem. And then chasing after is Sam Storley. Storley gets bumped along the boards. He comes out of the corner with the puck. And now it's stolen away by West Salem. Quick centering pass. Rolls right in on Gilbert. And he had to be alert. And he covers up and he'll get the face off back in the Red Raiders zone. Throughout the year, the WIA and R Rural Mutual Insurance seeks to find those schools and communities that demonstrate great examples of good sportsmen. Practicing sportsmanship teaches us how to respect everyone. There's the puck played back behind the net. Sharma to Esselman. He'll head man it up on the board. And with the puck along those far side. And coming out of there, uh, getting bumped off the play is Blakesley. Still not cleared out of the zone as uh, West Salem continuing the pressure. Now it gets out to center ice. West Salem a little aggressive on the four check here nearly going. As the pass going off the boards and rolls all the way down to the far end and again a nice and call. Again, uh, talking about the uh, Rural Mutual Insurance, signs of sportsmanship are showing everywhere. And helping hands and hard work whether you are a star on the sideline, if you live in the north, south, city or country crosswords, sportsmanship is always in season in Wisconsin. Let's see if the West Salem High School and the Lincoln Red Raiders High School can become the next winners of the WIAA and Rural Mutual Insurance Sportsmanship Award. Here's the puck played on the far boards. They head man out. Could be a two-on-one if they hurry. Along the far board, played centered, but the pass is stolen. Here's a shot from the point and a save made by Grosskamp as he'll let the rebound get played there by his defenders. Nice slap shot from the left blue line by Esselman. Up and around the far boards, the puck gets played in, and it's played with a high stick, but now the referee waves it off. As Sharma gets control, he gets dumped back from behind his own net. As they work it back out now in the high slot, and here comes the Red Raiders. Esselman, right wing feet. Here's Schroer. Schroer tries to center it. Here's a shot. Oh! Schroer taking it in deep. Center the pass to Esselman. He broke through and punches it through for the first score of the game. one nothing. The Lincoln Red Raiders. Time of that goal will be 2.58. And Esselman with a fine pass on the right wing to Schroer. And Schroer waited just for the right time for Esselman to break, break through and break free. And he poked it home for the first score of the game. 
One nothing lead here for the Red Raiders as the puck gets played back deep into the zone. Here's Sharmer with it. Sharmer gets bumped off of it. And here is Esselman now playing behind the net. He's bumped off the puck. Very quickly, Cruiser comes back to help out uh, defensively. As the puck played along the near board. Now he's put it to the high slot. Here, picking up the puck, loose is Cruiser. He tries to backhand it out, but the lazy pass picked off quickly. But here's Esselman on the steal coming back here for the Red Raiders. Three, scoring an English three goal, number four. So Esselman on the go, here's the puck rolling on in. And the goaltender, Grosskopf, will cover it up. So the goal scoring of the Red Raiders, Casey Esselman picking up his sixth goal of the season with assist to Caleb Schroer and to Matt Edwards. Time of that goal, 258, even strength goal. And it's a 1-0 lead for the Lincoln Red Raiders. There's the pass knocked down, far corner, and again, West Salem trying to gain control. Colton Meyer sends it along, along the beer, near boards, but here playing tough on the forecheck is Dan Overfeld. Along the near side, he can't control it, and West Salem gets it back out. They head man it up, but a nice hard check by Gabe Simon clears the man, but here's a quick centering pass, but that's knocked away by the defense. as a centering pass by Bailey Martin. Martin's a good-looking player. Martin with 31 goals on the season for West Salem. We got a penalty coming up, and a cross check has been whistled down here in this contest. 4-14, the time of that penalty, and a cross-checking call against the Red Raiders. They're gonna be going against Gage Simon. So West Salem will go on the power play. And so yeah, back to the point, of shot is kind of stubbed at the blue line, taken there by Martin. They work Martin, he's going forward, but he'll play back in the blue line for the man advantage. Yet the Red Raiders gain control, they send it down all the way. And the puck laid loose, here's Cruiser on a steal. Spins 360, back in the zone, trying to rag a little more time. It's one on four right now with Cruiser. Schroer kind of lingering around, looking for some loose change, but nothing happening. As the puck passed up along the far board. They'll work it now near side. As he'll get played there by Martin, he can't control it. Now he'll go right wing onto the stick of Tr Taylor Trapp. There's a shot deflected, and that heads up out of play, and he'll stop play at 12.05 left here in the first period, and 119 left in the penalty to the Red Raiders' Gage Simon. Face off to the left of Tyler Gilbert. And the draw controlled by the Red Raiders. Esselman plays it off the boards and gets out to center ice. That'll relieve some pressure for now. Spinning back in his own end, Bailey Martin headbands it up. They get it up on the right wing to Trap. Trap centering tap. Here's a shot taken wide of the mark. As that shot taken by Bergheeper. As coming back along to the far boards. It is uh, Martin. Sends his pass near side. Good for checking being employed here by Caleb Schroer. Just a one-man four-check with a man out high, and that's Cruiser. Working along the near side. Now up on the far side, Esselman steals that pass. He'll send it back into the zone. And that knocks off a few more seconds off that man disadvantage. There's the pass up on the right wing. That is Trap. Trap will work it into the zone. Stops at the blue line. Sends the pass across here near side. Nobody there. And Sharma comes up with it and just hammers it out of the zone all the way down. And he'll be played along the uh, near boards there by Grosskopf, the goaltender, but again, picked off by Sharmer. Sends it right back deep into the zone. Ten seconds left on the man advantage. Here's a steal by Edwards, centering pass. Here's a shot in a high slot. Oh, and a nice play there by Matt Edwards, and a shot taken at the high point there by Luke Gauss. And the Red Raiders penalty is over, and it's both sides at five. And a long shot to go! Shot by West Salem from outside the blue line. And Gilbert just appeared to be caught surprised that that shot came in on goal. But it got past him over the glove. And it's 1-1. Time of that goal is 6-19. That's going to be one that I'm sure the coach, that uh, Tyler Gilbert's going to shake his head at. 
There no distraction, no obstruction in front of him. Just a long shot from way out, and he tried to glove it, and went right off the top of the glove and into the corner for a goal. And that shot was taken from outside the blue line. So it's 1-1 the score. Here coming across the line is Nathan Belling. Belling gets bumped off the play there by Jacob Mormon. Number 20, Kate Holt. That's her unassisted. So the goal scored by Caden Hogue, unassisted. Here's the puck played at the high slot. Here's Conkey, and a defenseman sliding across there, getting control of that puck is Burkhafer, and he stops the play from moving forward. There's a shot taken from long range by Zach Coulomb. So the goal scored by Caden Hogue, his first goal of the season, by the way, and that was unassisted on a long shot from outside the blue line. So we're tied at one. Here's a two-on-two -two break. Coming across the line, there's a shot taken there by Taylor Trapp. That one goes high over the crossbar. Trapp has it again, backhands it out in front, but it's taken away by Sharmer. And Sharmer will get it, bounce it off the boards and send it all the way down. It was deflected by the Panthers, so the icing waved off. So the puck will get played back out to center ice. 9-10 remaining in this first period. 1-1 the score. Here's Cruiser. Left wing side. Cruiser backhands it towards the net. Knocked down. Schroer chasing along the near boards. Can't control. Has his play back out to center ice. And now the near side. There's Schroer poking it back ahead. And it's held in there by Cruiser. To Edwards. Edwards let a shot. And the save by Groskopf. As he put that high and heading towards the left corner of the goal. But glove saved by the goaltender, Groskopf. And he hangs on with 8.50 remaining in this first period. Face off, going to be to the right of Groskopf. And the puck controlled by the Panthers. They come out of there with it. There's a shot taken. Gilbert knocks it down. Puck loose there and picked up by Esselman playing along the far boards. Played up ahead. This could be a two on one. Here's Schroer, centering pass to Edwards, and alone comes in, shoots and scores! Matt Edwards with the goal! And it is now a 2-1 lead in favor of the Lincoln Red Raiders. Just that quickly, they turned that play around Making a two-on-one rush, and Schroer had control of the puck on the far board. Little backhand saucer pass to Edwards coming in all alone. Faked the backhand, went to the forehand, and stuffed it home for a 2-1 lead. So the puck dropped to the far board. Here's the Panther playing it back into the zone. Chasing after it. And coming up there with us, Bailey Martin, but he's playing off the puck. Up on the right, left wing. And it's along the near boards now. It's held in there nicely in a play made by Gage Simon. So the goal scoring on that second goal of the game for the Red Raiders. Matt Edwards on the goal with assistant Caleb Schroer. Time of that Lincoln Red Raider goal is 8.29. It's a 2-1 lead for Rapids. And right now, puck played with a hand, so a hand pass call, and so that whistle stops play. High school hockey here on AM 1320. WFHR, glad to have you tuned in here tonight. We hope that you uh, stay with us for, of course, our broadcast this evening and uh, look forward to a lot of excitement here with the Red Raiders. They continue their march to try to get back to Madison this year. Going to be a tough one tonight. As the puck played on the far boards. Jamming for it there. Trying to gain control as Conkey can't. And out of there with it comes the Panthers. They'll jump it deeper into the corner. Chasing after it. That was Caden Hogue, the goal scorer for the, uh, for the Panthers. Along the near side. They'll work it there as Cole, the head man it up. They pass it up on the left wing side on the chase. It is Jacob Blakesley. Blakesley in the far corner. Digs for it. Gets around one man. Now he's played off the puck there. And it's taken there and controlled by the Panthers. They'll play it off the glass and get it back out to center ice. Hip along the near side here. Storley has it. He'll play it back in, roll it in on the goaltender Groskopf. 
And the Red Raiders will change up and bring their number one line out on the ice. Here up on the right wing feed. Here's Trap across the blue line. Trap played off the puck nicely. Nice play defensively by Mormon. He headbands it and gets it out of the zone. 6.35 left in the first period, 2-1 lead. The puck played into the zone and an icing call against the uh, Panthers of West Salem. Good crowd here on hand tonight. Nice representation on the rapid side. And a good group of folks coming from West Salem in the Bangor area for tonight's game, Tuesday night here. And the puck to the far boards. We got a penalty coming up against West Salem. As Schroer was taken down and a tripping call is going to be whistled down against West Salem's. Number 28 on the penalty, Taylor Trapp. So a power play opportunity for the Red Raiders held at the blue line. And they're going to have a whistle. And what do we have? We have an intentional offside called against the Red Raiders. So they'll take the face off all the way down to the Red Raiders zone to the left of goaltender Tyler Gilbert. And right now the uh, referee coming over talking to the head coach Bob Monroe who was claiming that a trip could have been called right there in Caleb Shore, but referee coming over and talking to him saying, nope, I don't see it that way. So we get back into the play here. As the draw is going to be controlled there by Cruiser. Back in his own zone, passing the right wing side to Esselman. Esselman will carry it all the way into the zone. Esselman going far and behind the net, still carrying it, still carrying it. He'll go all the way around, head back to the blue line. Stop there, plant himself. And he's going to set the offense here now in the power play. Five on four. Here's Schroer at the blue line. Passing it up on the left wing side to Cruiser. Now off to Edwards. Edwards. Back out of high to Schroer. Had to reach hard to get to that uh, wide pass. Schroer backs out of there with it. Still waiting for time. Winds and fires. Knocked down by the defense as Zach Coulomb that time laid down in front and took the puck and held in the zone. Oh, what a play by Schroer holding the zone to the blue line. Quick centering pass to Cruiser. A little too far. Back to Schroer. He'll reload. Schroer at the white point. Now heads back towards the center of the blue line. Winds, fakes the shot, goes to Esselman on the right wing. Esselman with a quick shot, knocked down by the defense. Picked up loose change there. And coming back with a cross, nice pass. Here's Cruiser in the slot. He's in the middle of the slot, trying to backhand, can't. Esselman trying to get control of it. 40 seconds left in the man advantage, and Esselman gets control. Back to Schroer. Schroer at the blue line. Wait, puts it on the, line, on the doorstep. Here's Edwards, digging for it. Edwards can't get a stick on the ice. Can't get that puck, and it's played out there by West Salem. Good deep pressure, but Edwards went digging for it, just couldn't let a stick on the puck to put it past the goaltender. Still 15 seconds left in the man advantage. Here's Esselman bringing it in. Gets it poke check, still held in at the top by Schroer. Plays it on the far boards to Esselman. Esselman walks on in, centering pass in the high slot. Coming out high, Schroer will keep it in the zone. Two seconds, one, and the man advantage is over as both teams at full strength. Schroer pumped off the puck as Trapp will bring it across the blue line. Trapp loses control and Cruiser comes up with a loose change. He passes it up on the right wing a little too hard and a little too far and an icing call. Nope, they're going to not wave it off as he was beaten to the puck there. Good hustle by Luke Gauss. Back comes West Salem. Across the blue line. Little move, left hand, centering pass. That one goes high over the net. As a backhander by Bailey Martin. Couldn't find the mark. Here's the puck back, played out the center ice. And bumped off the puck there as Mike Burkheifer has it. Puck goes right back to the goaltender. Held in there, and a, ooh, a quick backhand shot. Taken by Luke Gauss. And a kick save made there by the goaltender, Grosskopf. Puck goes to the far board. 3.35 left here in the period. 2-1 lead for the Red Raiders. They come down all the way to the end of the ice of the Red Raiders. Along the near boards, chasing after it. And coming up with the puck momentarily and played ahead with Storley. Now the puck will stay back behind the Red Raider net. Picked up there by Storley. Storley will get it out towards center ice. 
And it's played at neutral ice now as they bump along the far boards as Luke Gauss bumping and banging along with uh, Gage trying to clear that puck. Here's Simon, works it free, gets it deep in his zone. He peels off to get a change as he'll go in on the, on the uh, four check. Back on the ice. Now the third line for the Red Raiders coming out there. There's a backhanded pass near side. Picked up loose change by Storley, and Storley will backhand it up to Mormon. He'll headman it. Played up ahead, and here with the puck. On the left wing is Conkey. Conkey can't control. The puck rolls in on the goaltender Groskopf. He'll cover up and wait for a faceoff. 2.38 left here in this first period. 2-1 lead for the Red Raiders. Goals by Esselman and Matt Edwards here in this first period. And the draw is one and a shot taken from the high slot. Nice shot too, put in there by Jacob Lakesley and Groskopf with the save. Salem, West Salem plays out the center ice where it's played back in by Sharmer. They play it in along the near boards as they work it back out the center ice. They send it back in on Groskopf. He'll have to steer it along to the far boards as they chase after it. Blakesley on the chase, trying to come up with it as West Salem will gain control and they'll come out of their own zone with it as it'll be Taylor Trapp. But his pass is stolen away. Picked up loose at center ice and with it there is Coles and he'll dump it in his zone and he'll get a change and bring the number one line back on the ice for the Red Raiders. Here's the puck in the air momentarily. Edwards comes out of there with it. He loses control and it's stolen by Taylor Trapp. Trapp comes across the blue line, bumped off the puck there by Sharma. Trapp still hanging there with it, still with it. Sharma hits him again. Now Schroer will come up with it. His pass stolen away at the high slot. Shot taken and a save made as Cole Trouch with a save, I should say a shot from the red faceoff circle. And Tyler Gilbert had to be alert to make that save. 134 left here in this first period. 2-1 lead for the Red Raiders as Schroer in for the draw. Puck is dropped and a whistle stops it. Bailey Martin in for the draw. Now they have Matt Edwards in the faceoff circle and the draw is one and the puck quickly shot off that faceoff by Martin. Goes high over the net. As they fight for the puck here on the near side, stolen back by West Salem, they play it in deep. Quick centering pass, Gilbert had to be alert to knock that down as the puck is played off the boards, back out to center ice. Edwards on the four check. He gains control, he steals it. Quick centering pass to Schroer. Schroer on the backhand. Here's the rebound and Grosskopf will cover it up. Good work by Edwards on the steal, finding Schroer on the trail and Cruiser sniffing for a goal. 109 left here in this first period. Face off to the left of Grosskopf. Schroer in for the draw and the draw is Controlled there by the Red Raiders as Sharmer will play it. At the high slot here is Schroer with a quick turnaround shot. Knocked down by the defense. There's Esselman from long range. That's just wide of the mark. Less than a minute in the period. Here's Cruiser with a backhand and Schroer just couldn't get a stick on it. And back comes West Salem. Headman pass left wing side. That will be taken away by Sharmer of the Red Raiders. Playing along that side. The puck kicked out the high slot. Shot knocked down by the defense. Quick spin around shot by Bailey Martin. Gets deflected. Now Schroer with it on the far side. Gets bumped hard out there by Ben Pierce. And a couple of tough checks out there. Now the puck comes loose and coming out of there is the Schroer. Schroer, 25 seconds left. Schroer, oh, a little bit between the legs. Backhand, oh, and couldn't connect with Cruiser. Coming down the slot. Back behind the net. Coming up with it is Dylan Campbell. Campbell trying to play it out and he gets it now off to the far boards as they get it out to center ice. And now at 10 seconds left. Four, three, and we are going to come out and with one second, we're going to put shot. Oh, the puck just went over the net at the buzzer by Taylor Trapp. Somehow found his way behind the defense, and he poked it just over the net, over the outstretched, outstretched glove of Tyler Gilberts. Told you it was going to be a good game. <laughs> oh, let's get the saves here from the PA announcer, and we'll... Uh, Recap this first period. Stage in the first period for West Salem Bangor goalie Julian Groskopf, 10. Stage for West Salem Bangor goalie Tyler Gilbert, 
five. So 10 saves by Julian Groskopf in that first period for West Salem and five saves for the goaltender of the Lincoln Red Raiders, Tyler Gilbert, in that first period. 2-1, the lead belonging to the Lincoln Red Raiders. Coming up, we'll be back and we'll recap the scoring in that first period of play. We'll get to all that right after a two-minute timeout. You're listening to High School Hockey on AM 1320 WFHR. Got a job to do today. Hey, Mom. I got the job. <laughs> Thanks. I've got the job. Welcome aboard. Have a good first day at work, Mom. Your donations to Goodwill fund job training programs right in your community. Feels good to start fresh, right? Sure does. And like that, you're a job creator. And the sound of jump around playing in the background as we're just about set to get into the second period of play here. This is Bob Look, along with Tim Hubble, back at the station. And we are so happy that you're tuned in to high school hockey here on AM 1320 WFHR. And maybe if you're listening to us via the World Wide Web on WFHR.com. Well, the team's just making their way back on the ice and the Red Raiders coming on out. As they'll switch ends here as Tyler Gilbert will be patrolling the goal to our right as we view the ice surface here at the Southwood County Recreation Center. And the West Salem Panthers just uh, getting out onto the ice. As Julian Groskopf will be in between the pipes to our left. Good solid action in that first period of play. Both teams. Any way you look at it, this is a game that you got to be alert. You got to be ready to go every second the goal that uh, Gilbert gave up on the long shot by Hogue I'm sure is going to be one that uh, Tyler is going to be saying you know that, uh, that one's on me boys so here we go as Caleb Schroer will face off going up against Taylor Trapp and the draw is controlled by the Red Raiders. They'll have the puck as it'll be Esselman. He'll backhand it deep into the zone to the near corner. Now back behind the net, it's uh, Burkeeper, and he'll play it along the side. Stolen puck by uh, Edwards. He centers it, but it gets a little too far for Schroer. He can't control. And back comes the uh, Panthers as the puck played in the zone by Trevor Jones. Jones dumps it on in. Here's Cruiser. Cruiser gets bumped. And the puck comes loose to Edwards. He'll get it out front to Esselman. Right wing feed to Schroer. Schroer trying to get around the defense. Drop pass to Edwards. Circles back to get it. Clubbing across to Esselman. Esselman with a long shot. Knocked down by the defense. That one stung a bit on the young man. As Trevor Jones felt that wrist shot go right off the uh, padding. He still felt it. Long shot from the point by Esselman. Steered away by Grosskopf. And he'll play it back along to the far side. Jason after the puck here, right wing feed. Sent out by Trapp, but it's picked up loose there by Sharmer. Up ahead is Cruiser. Cruiser on the left side, trying to get around the defense, but right there is Burke Heffer. As he gets a hold of it, and makes a steal and gets control of it. He'll play it back behind his own net, may go to the far side. Just underway here in the second period of play. 2-1 lead for the Red Raiders. Long shot rolls in, and Gilbert will glove it and just leave it for his defense, and he'll play it out of the zone quickly. Coming up is Gauss. Gauss dumps it back behind the net. They go chasing after it. Playing along the far boards. Trying to hold it in there will be Storley. Storley plays it down around the near boards. And it'll be played out to center ice. And coming out of there with it is West Salem. Bailey Martin, right wing side. Stops, hits the brakes, bumped there by Mormon. Mormon still 
trying to steal it. He does steal the puck. He'll dump it back up along the uh, near side onto the stick of Gauss, but they can't clear it out of the zone. Now back to the high slot, and Gage Simon will backhand it and get it out of the zone. He'll roll all the way back into the uh, West Salem end of the ice. Along the far boards, they jam for it there. Storley will pick up the loose change. He'll spin, play it off the glass, and up ahead. A little backhand played back towards the blue line of the Red Raiders. Now they'll kick it back out to center ice. A lot of center ice play here in the last couple of minutes. As the puck played along the blue line of the West, West Salem as Cole Trouch there kind of got enamored with the puck, finally playing out of there with it. Now he gets across the blue line. He's bumped off the puck. A nice play by Storley. Headman pass. Here's Donkey. Donkey, where's a quick little shot? That goes wide of the mark. As they chase for it now in the corner. Puck played back out to center ice as Coles couldn't come up with it. Esselman back. Gets it out with a pass quickly on the wing. A little too hard and off the stick of Conkey as he'll play it back and he'll get deep into the West Salem end of the ice. Headman pass too far. That'll be an icing call against West Salem. West Salem, so it's 13.56 left here in the second period in the 2 1 lead for the Lincoln Red Raiders. And if the Red Raiders can take, take this home into a victory, they'll be right back here at the Southwood County Recreation Center playing the sectional final here. And that game would be uh, Saturday afternoon. Here's the puck played back out to center ice, and here comes West Salem with it. Around one check, here is uh, Nathan Bailing, but coming up with his Esselman, he gains control of the puck. And the Red Raiders will send it back out to center ice. Pucks rolls all the way into Gilbert. He gloves it, plays it, and he'll backhand it back out to the point, but it's held in there. Nice play defensively by Taylor Trapp. Trapp's a really tough, tough guy. You really got to stick with him. There's a puck played back into the Red Raiders zone. As Sharmer gains control, plays it far boards, held in at the corner there by uh, Burkeefer. As the uh, puck played back out to center ice, this played up in the air and out of play, and a whistle stops play. Again, we're talking about uh, the sectional final going to be played here at the Southwood County Recreation Center on Saturday. And if Lincoln wins, or whoever wins, is going to move ahead, then play the winner of the Baraboo Portage on Alaska game. That's the number three and number two seeds in this sectional. So you have your top four seeds, West Salem being the number four seed, and Lincoln being the number one seed, and two and three playing in the other sectional semifinal tonight. That game being played at the Omni Center in Onalaska. Puck back in the zone. Long headband pass for Edwards, knocked down by the defense. As the puck played back into the zone and played up ahead, here's Cruiser. He can't pick it out of the air. Always oh, tough to try to get a pass when it's up in the air. Here's a quick shot. Oh, and a glove save. And uh, Gilbert will cover up as Taylor Trapp with a quick wrist shot. And Trapp let go of that shot from long range, but it was a good wrist shot. And Gilbert had to be ready for it. 12.25 left here in this second period. 2-1 lead for the Red Raiders. Schroer. In on the draw against Bailey Martin, and the draw one along the boards, and a quick centering pass rolls through. Gilbert watched it go through, and here's Schroer across the blue line, and the defenseman that time, Burke Kiefer, kicks it out of the way, and the puck's played back in deep. Here's Edwards on the chase. Edwards gets to it first. Edwards looks, centering pass goes all the way through. See Storley with a shot. Oh, and that one gets kicked aside. Edwards is on the doorstep, couldn't get a rebound. Back out to center ice, one on two. Now it comes a two on two situation. Here's a quick play made there by Bailey Martin. Stick to it to Diff, putting some pressure on. They maintained the pressure, but now Schroer has control of it. Schroer along the near boards, loses control. But the pass is stolen and played out ahead by Mormon. But still not out of the zone. Puck rolls in on Gilbert and he has to make a kick save and control it as the puck played along the Far boards and Edwards will play it up ahead. Now it's sent back in by West Salem. And we go on the chase and an icing call against West Salem. Again, other uh, sectional semifinals 
in the uh, boys hockey tournament. You got Wausau West taking on Stevens Point. That game being played up at Marathon Park in Wausau. And the winner of that game will play Northland Pines or Antigo White Lake as those two teams square off. There's the draw. They fight for it and West Salem comes out of there with it. And with the puck is uh, Dylan Campbell. They played along the far boards. They get it back into the West Salem zone as the Red Raiders chase after it there. There's a puck played back in by Gabe Simon. Good pressure being in play here. And Simon plays it as Overfelt with the steal. Out of the far board. Trying to maintain control and putting the pressure on, but West Salem gets it out of the zone. And Mormon on the chase back on the Red Raider at the end of the ice. But uh, West Salem holds the zone. Now Overfelt on the steal for the Red Raiders. Plays along near side to Simon. And a ragtag the play here. There's a shot from the blue line, rolls right in, and rolls right through the crease. Here on the ice now is Taylor Trapp, dangerous guy. High slot, shot, knocked down by the defense. Karam's left side, Storley chasing after it. Held in here. Another quick shot, Gilbert on the save. Quick centering pass, knocked down by Storley. And, and they'll play it back out the center. Should say Mormon knocked that puck down, and Storley played it out of his own. Line change and uh, Red Raiders come out. They are in with Coles and Conkey and Blakesley in the forward lines as the puck along the near side. Here is Taylor Trapp spinning. Stick handling into the zone. Gets around one, trying to center it. Nobody there. High slot. Quick shot taken there. Knocked down by, jo by his Jones shot. Is knocked down by the defense. And Esselman control. Esselman gets it back to uh, Conkey, who will send it in deep into the zone. As the Red Raiders on the chase. Here is Coles. Coles bumped off the puck, and back comes the uh, Panthers. But a steal made by Mormon as they played along the near board. Sharmer has it. Sharmer passing it right wing side. Gets it off to Coles. His pass is stolen away by Trevor Jones. Plays it into the zone. Back up to the high slot. Here with it is Bailey Martin. Martin, quick centering pass, rolls all the way through and rolls all the way back into the Panther end of the ice. Now we got a line change for the Red Raiders. They'll send the number one line out there with 8.55 left. Here's a steal in the zone. Puck by Edwards. Edwards with it behind the net. Passing it to Schroer. Out to Esselman. Quick shot. And the glove save by Grosskamp. And we'll have him glove it and hang on for the faceoff. 8.46 left in the second period. 2-1 lead for the Lincoln Red Raiders. Face off to the left of uh, goaltender. Julian Grosskopf has the puck controlled by West Salem as they'll play it, but there's Edwards on the steal. Edwards comes out of the corner with it. He's bumped off the puck, but still putting the pressure on. Here is Schroer. Schroer spins. Tough angle shot. Oh, and a chest save made by Grosskopf. On a close in shot. Here the puck rolling all the way into the Red Raider end of the ice. And it'll be an icing call against West Salem. So we go all the way down to the other end. Goal scores tonight thus far for the Red Raiders. Casey Esselman and Matt Edwards. Both goals scoring in the first half or first period. And the lone goal for the West Salem Panthers scored by Caden Hogue. And uh, that's where we stand, two to one. Here back in the uh, West Salem into the ice, back line under Schroer, quick centering pass to, to Edwards, and the puck rolled right out in front. But Esselman will send it back deep as he'll try to reset the play. Schroer can't control it. Now Cruiser plays it back to Esselman. They'll punch it in deeper to Schroer. Centers it back. Here's Cruiser. Cruiser trying to stick handle around the defenseman. Cannot. Now he gets control of it again at the high slot. Cruiser backhands it on front as it's Edwards trying to deflect that one up on the right doorstep. Here's a quick centering pass. Cruiser can't get it. Esselman centering pass. Knocked down by the D. And good pressure, but West Salem will now get out of there with it. Here's Zach Pierce. Pierce across the blue line, poke check momentarily, and a nice steal made by Edwards. Up ahead to Schroer, across the blue line. Schroer, stick handling, gets bumped off the puck, 
And played back ahead, here is Taylor Trapp. Trapp dumps it off to Zach Pierce with a shot wide of the mark. Rolls all the way, and we got a breakaway man up ahead. That is Overfeld. Overfeld caught by the defense, and the puck rolls in on the goaltender, Grosskopf, and he'll cover up. 7.04 left here in the second period. Coming up in our second intermission, we'll again recap what happened in the second period. We'll also have a report from our own Jean Delicio. A little sports update coming up. We'll have that in between periods. There's a shot of the faceoff. That was sent wide by Overfelt. Back behind the net. Here's a quick little centering pass in the slot. Nice play there made by Luke Gauss as he's trying to dig it free. And still with the puck is Overfelt. Back behind that little quick backhanded shot. Tried there. As that was Gage Simon with an opportunity. Here's Overfelt bouncing it off the board. Sends it back into the zone. Where it's chased there by Burt Heifer. Burt Heifer comes back behind the net. He sends a pass out to center ice, but Sharma steals. He'll dump it back in, and he'll go back on the four check. 6.22 left here in this second period. Back across the line. With it is Burt Heifer. He carries it all the way and held in at the blue line. Here's a shot. That one's wide of the mark, taken there by Trevor Jones for the Panthers. Along the near boards, they jam for it. Here's a shot right off the boards. Quick shot by Cole Trouch. Here's a headband pass up ahead. And just a little too far off the stick of Jacob Blakesley, who could have been in free if he could have controlled that. But here's the puck played back deep by Cole. Back to Blakesley. Blakesley goes to the point to Sharmer. Sends it back towards the net. Deflected away by the defense. They work it down to the far side. Now up to the high point. There's Storler with a drive. Yes! Quick kick save, and that rebound kicked all the way back out to the blue, blue line and out to center ice. Good hard shot by Storley. Now the puck played back in by Cruiser. 5.20 left here in the second period. A lot of center ice play as the puck played in deep by the Red Raiders. Here's Edwards centering pass to Schroer, tries to center it again. Nobody home other than orange shirts that being the Panthers of West Salem. In the right wing, Edwards plays it back into the zone. Now played back out, but held in by Edwards. Edwards going to go deep and go chase. Edwards looking, trying to get around the defense. Gets bumped off the puck. Can't play it ahead. Now he's played off the puck. And now he gets it back in the steal. Schroer, Schroer quick centering. Goes right through the slot, and Edwards can't get to it. Now he comes to the far boards and gets it. They play it back to Schroer, who leaves it there. And now they'll just send it all the way down. Oh, that one went right off the side of the linesman. He took that one off the hip, and he felt that one. Now Edwards across the blue line. Edwards goes in deep, centering pass. Well, right through the slot. No one can get a stick on it. As it gets played back to the near corner. Still putting the pressure on. And now coming out of there with it, here is the dangerous Taylor Trapp. Across the line, quick shot. Oh, and... Gilbert got a piece of it, steered it aside, and puck played ahead, and here comes Schroer. Schroer up the ice, across the blue line. Little toe drive, gets around the man, and he can't put the shot on goal as it rolls in. As we have a scrum in front there as Edwards was camped, and the defenseman, the defenseman for West Salem took offense to that, and he's gonna go sit in the sin bin with contact to the head. So Noah Belling is gonna cool his jets a bit. He'll sit down at the 1302 mark for contact to the head, two minute penalty. So a power play coming up here with 358 left in the period for the Red Raiders. They did not score in their first power play, their only power play of the game. There's a shot taken at the angle, no good. And that shot taken there by uh, Luke Gauss. Gauss in the left corner, plays it back up on the uh, left point, now right point to Storley. Got the number two unit on there right now on the power play here in the high post. There's Sharman, quick shot. Oh, on the right side, taken there by Gage Simon, hits the side of the net. But held in at the blue line at the left point. Nicely by Mormon. Across to Storley. 
Right side with it, now is Gabe Simon. Back to Storley. To Mormon. Mormon passing it up on the left side. With it there is Gulf. Here's a quick little shot behind. Here's a shot in. Oh, in front. Sharma with a quick shot. Save made by the goaltender, Gostoff. And back comes the uh, Panthers. And a shot deflected away behind the net. As a shot taken by Zach Pierce for West Salem. Back come the Red Raiders here in the power play. 57 seconds on the man advantage. Playing it deep is Storley. Spent, plays it all the way around the boards. But it's going to be taken out of the zone. And here coming with it is Taylor Trapp. Trapp gets off and puts a shot. It's deflected up and up into the netting. And we've got, I believe, we might have a whistle and a penalty coming up. Well, we're going, we're, yes, we are. We're going to have a penalty coming up here against the Red Raiders. And it'll be whistled down here against Jacob Mormon. That's too many men on the ice, the call. Uh, that'll make that 14-20 the time of that penalty. So too many men on the ice. And Mormon will serve the penalty. So four on four for the next 36 minutes, uh, 36 seconds and counting. And then uh, West Salem will be on a short power play. Here's a long headband pass too far. And it'll be icing called against the Red Raiders. Well, the Red Raiders got caught in a situation where they had their number two power play out there and then the number one shorthanded group got out there for West Salem and a very dangerous Taylor Trapp got control of the puck and Red Raiders tried to change up on the fly but got too many men on the ice. So four and four continues. There's a shot from the point and a goal! That shot from the left point by West Salem got through. A four on four goal. And the time of that goal will be 1441. I don't know if it was deflected out front. We'll have to wait for the official call from the ref. That is a four on four goal. Some of the players for the Red Raiders saying they hit it with a high stick. But it's a goal and we're tied at two. So 14-41, the time of that goal, and a four-on-four -four goal. So only 13 seconds left on his four-on-four, -four, and then it'll be a power play for West Salem. Here's Schroer across the line. He gets bumped off the puck as Berkeefer gains control. Here he's coming across the line. Gets around one check. Cruiser gets the puck, and now it's a power play coming up here. Okay, so shorthanded now with a minute 38 and counting. 57 seconds left here in the power play for West Salem. We'll give you the goal scorer in a moment. As coming across the line, here's a quick pass shot. Knocked down by the defense as that was Zach Pierce with a turnaround. There's a shot and a goal and a rebound by Taylor Trapp. And a power play. And it's now a 3-2 lead in favor of West Salem. Time of that goal will be at 16.35 on a power play. So Trapp got out there, got loose, and got the rebound all by himself on the right side, poked it home. So West Salem with two goals here and have taken a 3-2 lead in the second period. And a minute 25 left here in this second period. Puck back in the Red Raiders zone. Mormon headbands it up ahead to Schroer. Schroer gets bumped off the puck as the puck rolls on in. Schroer chasing after it. He plays his man off the board and Edwards comes out of there with it. Edwards coming out of the corner, gets bumped and played off the puck as Dylan Campbell with it. 
Now a minute left here in the second period. Here is Taylor Trapp. So here's a tripping call and no call, I should say. Charles down, has ever been a shot by Groskopf as Edwards had a close in shot from about 15 feet out. Here is Mormon with a shot, clears the zone, and now comes West Salem out of there. They send it into the zone. Gilbert will let it go back behind the net. Mormon spins out of problems, plays it up ahead to Cruiser. And still not out of the zone as Ben Pierce. He spins around, quick shot on net, and Gilbert will cover up with 15.2 seconds left. So the second goal in this period, scored by Zach Callum, with an assist to Trevor Jones at 14.41. That was a four on four goal. A power play goal scored by Taylor Trapp with assist to Trevor Jones and also to Zach Pierce. 10 seconds left, puck played back out to center ice. It'll roll all the way into the West Salem end of the ice. As they chase after it there. Played along the near boards as time will expire and that is the end of the second period. But two goals scored by West Salem late in that second period has pumped them into a three to two lead at the end of two periods of play. We'll await for the uh, we will await for the uh, saves call before we uh, call here. So Groskopf with 12 saves. Nine saves for Gilbert in that second period. So again, saves Julian Groskopf with 12 for a total of 22 at the end of two periods, and for Tyler Gilbert, nine saves with a total of 14 at the end of two periods. It's three to two in favor of West Salem. We'll run through the scoring when we return. Every day across America, excess food is gathered by a network of good people at local food banks, giving hope to millions of children who struggle with hunger. They've earned their wings and you can too. Together, we can solve child hunger. Support Feeding America and your local food bank at feedingamerica.org. Back here at the Southwood County Recreation Center where the Lincoln Red Raiders get back onto the ice, trailing this game three to two to the West Salem Panthers. As they get back onto the ice, they'll be defending the goal to our left, while the West Salem Panthers will be defending the goal to our right. Got a reminder, we've got high school boys basketball Friday night as the Lincoln Red Raiders Boys basketball team starts their play in the WIAA tournament. They take on Oshkosh North. We'll have the broadcast of that game from Oshkosh starting at 6.45 with pregame programming, 7 o'clock. We'll be the opening tip-off right here at AM 1320. WFHR, here we go with a face-off. Caleb Schroer in for the Red Raiders, opposing Taylor Trapp. And the puck is dropped, and here we go for the third period of play. As the puck play along the far side by West Salem. They dump the pass off, and here comes Edwards on the steal. Edwards up ice quickly up on the left wing. Edwards sends it in towards the net area. Cruiser takes a swing at it as he goes on by, as Edwards holds it back behind the net. Tries to center it. Here's Sharmer from the point. Shot and a save. Kick save. Rolls up on the netting, and we'll have a face off down deep in the West Salem zone. Sharmer with a shot from the blue line from the right side. And Grosskopf, the goaltender, with a save. Faceoff will go to the... How are they going to do this here? They'll go down to the faceoff dot to the left. To the left hand of goaltender Grosskopf. There's a shot right off the point. 
All right, Edwards, quick centering pass. That knocked down by the defense. Edwards steals it back. Edwards tries to get around one man. Stops, pivots again. Now tries to center it, but it's knocked down by the defense, and back comes West Salem. Coming up the ice up on the right wing. Long shot from the blue line. Knocked down by the defense as Zach Pierce wound up and fired. Here's Cruiser coming out of his own end. Luke Cruiser still along the far board. Plays it up ahead. Played down out of the zone by the defense. All the way to the near side. Played up to Sharmer. And Sharmer plays it up. And it's deflected up and out of play. And a stoppage of play. Faceoff will be at the center ice area. 16.03 left. Here in the third period, 3-2 lead for the West Salem Panthers. Scored two goals in that second period to jump out to that one goal lead. And has the draw controlled by West Salem. Far boards as Ben Pierce will play it back in the zone, but he played it in from outside the red line, and that's an icing call against West Salem. And that's not a, not a smart uh, dump in at all. Sends that face off right back in your defensive zone. Coming in to take the draw will be Luke Gauss for the Red Raiders. And the puck off to the far side. It's held along the zone there by Simon. Simon was shot and a quick save by Groskoff. Simon took a stab at it thinking there was going to be a rebound, but Groskoff just did the old Venus fly trap and engulfed it and hung on for the face off. Julian Groskoff, the senior goaltender for the West Salem Panthers, saw 22 or made 22 saves in those first two periods. Here's the puck controlled by the Red Raiders. They play it back behind the net. So they'll go all the way along the near corner as West Salem will pick up the loose change. They'll send it back to the center ice and it rolls all the way down. And they're going to wipe out the icing as they're going to say that Mormon touched it and deflected it back deep. Puck play back into the Red Raiders zone as out of there is Mormon, but the pass stolen along the board. A long shot taken there. And glove saved by Gilbert as Colton Meyer with a long drive. Along the near board. Chasing after it there. They get it up along the near board. And we got a whistle. Stopping play. And let's see what this was all about. Now a whistle, probably a hand pass whistle down there. Anyway, the stop is the play. Well, the face off just outside the Red Raider blue line. There's the puck played into the Red Raiders zone. Esselman plays it up ahead. With a little drop pass and coming across the line. Here is Conkey with a shot. Knocked down by Grosskamp as they go back behind the net. Burke Hafer, the defenseman, loses it to Esselman. Out in front, they go digging for it. The puck deflects up in the near corner. Another centering pass. Esselman chasing it down. He can't control it and it gets bumped out of the zone. They roll it back in and Grosskamp Deflects it up in the air and he had to glove it. That puck came up over his head and almost behind him. And the Red Raiders putting some heavy pressure here on a four check. Trailing by one. With the puck, skating back behind around his own net is Trevor Jones. They get it out to uh, center ice. <coughs> and they work the puck back along the near side. Here with it, stick handling, is uh, Taylor Trapp. He loses control, now they send it back in. That'll be an icing call against West Salem. Might be seeing a whole lot of icing calls here in this period, especially if the Red Raiders keep putting on the pressure in the offensive zone. So the faceoff will be to the right of goaltender Groskopf. Schroer in for the draw, Schroer. Wins it. Edwards can't control the puck. Now Esselman will get it on the far side. Ooh, and he puts a quick shot in on that. And Groskopf just kicked it aside at the last minute and almost snuck by him. There's a hard check delivered along the near boards by Sharmer. As the puck, and we're going to have a penalty call coming up here against the Red Raiders as the puck cleared in that uh, slot area. As there is a Penalty, delay penalty going to be coming up again against the Red Raiders. And finally, Lincoln gets control of the puck. And we're going to have a tripping call against Lincoln. 3.25 time of the penalty. And the penalty will be a trip on Casey Esselman. 
That's an endowment on the boards. That called for the tripping call. And so a big power play coming up here for West Salem. Draw controlled by the Red Raiders. Backhanded. And they cleared out of the zone as Cruiser will send it all the way in. Rolling in on goal. As Grosskopf will play it there. And he'll set up their play. <coughs> They come out of their own zone, passing it up on the near boards. This trap, trap, now Steinmead, he'll have to back out of there and give it back to his defense, to Burkeefer. Now back to the far side to Campbell. They play it across the line. Now the puck is taken back by Cruiser, but now retaken there by West Salem as Zach Pierce couldn't control it, and the Red Raiders able to get it back out to center ice. A minute, 15 left on the man advantage for West Salem. Here passing up on the right side is Trap. Tries to get it out, but a nice poke check by Cruiser. He gets it all the way down the other end. Cruiser going to go to go chase. Chasing after that puck. <coughs> and they come up and control it, and it'll with 55 seconds left. So far, not much offense being uh, done here, and a good job by Cruiser making it tough for West Salem to get the puck up ice. Now Edwards will pick up on the four check. Putting the pressure on, Bailey Martin. Edwards still ragging and still making life miserable for the three guys back there. They're having trouble getting out of their own end. They get the puck up ahead and it's too far and it's taken there by Storley. He'll send it back in deep. Good job by the penalty killers. Good four check by the Red Raiders. Now let's see if they can cap her off. Here's a tough Taylor uh, trap. Here's a shot and a save made by Gilbert. Back up to the blue line, and it's poked ahead. Out to center ice by Gauss. Gauss chasing after it, can't overskates it. And coming up with it now, West Salem, they come back in with it. Penalty is over, the long shot sends wide of the mark of Gilbert. And that shot sent in by Zach Pierce. 11.25 left in the third period. 3-2 lead for West Salem. Here's the puck played in the zone by Gauss. Back behind the net. Here's Coles. Coles with a nice steal, putting the four checking on, along with Blakesley. Here's a quick centering pass to Coles. And the puck gets poked out and rolls all the way down. Gonna get all the way down to the far end, and they'll whistle an icing against West Salem. Good pressure here for this line for the Red Raiders. Logan Conkey. Cody Coles and Jacob Lakesley putting the pressure on. 11.04 left here in this third period. 3-2 lead for West Salem. Here's the draw. Won by the Red Raiders. They send it in deeper. Here's Blakesley going in to dig after it. Playing off the defenseman Burkeefer. Burkeefer and that. They got it jammed along the boards. They dig to try to clear it out. Conkey trying to free it loose. Conkey and Blakesley working hard. That's the tough work that you do on a hockey rink. As the puck held in at the blue line, but Sharmer can't hold it for, for the whole time. Now he has to play it back in, waiting for his line mates to get out, get it out of the zone. Blakesley back in on the chase. Along the boards, it's Conkey chasing after it. And the puck played now near side. And boy, I'll tell you, the four checkers are really buzzing here for the Red Raiders. Putting some heavy pressure on. There's a pass here in the near side. Blakesley will control. He'll just send it back in his zone, and we'll have a line change. As uh, Coles goes in on the four check, Coles loses an head, and here's Schroer deflecting it back in the zone. Schroer chasing after it. Puck gets knocked down, and the defenseman gets knocked down. That is T Trevor Jones falls on the puck and gets back up. They send it out to center ice, and here is Taylor Trapp. Trapp across the blue line, shoot wide of the mark, and Sharmer. Has it, gets it to Esselman. Heads man to the cruiser. Cruiser gets around one, right wing feed. Gets it off to Edwards. Edwards trying to stick handle around the man. Still has it, still has it. Now back behind the net. Edwards playing two West Salem Panthers. Now gets it off to Schroer. Schroer to Edwards, back behind the net. Centering pass, shot by Schammer. Knocked down by the defense as the puck rolls wide on the left side. Here's Cruiser on the far boards. He can't control it. And here's West Salem coming out of their own end. Across the blue line, long shot is high and wide. That shot taken by Zach Pierce. Back comes Schroer. Schroer across the red line. Now the blue. Stops. 
Backhand pass to Edwards, a little backhand shot, and it gets knocked down by the defense and it's turned back by Zach Pierce. Pierce for West Salem. between the face-off dots. And that was a legal check. No penalty gonna be called on this. That check up under Zach Pierce. And it was a clean check, he played the puck. And the officials let play go, and the coaching staff for West Salem was upset, saying that should have been a penalty. But, folks, that's how you play the game. That's how you play hockey. It was a clean check. There was no elbow. There was no contact to the head. He just hit him hard. So we have a faceoff. In the zone, and it's won by West Salem. They try to clear the zone, they will. As Esselman. They play it back into the zone. Here's Schroer. A little backhand pass is knocked down by the defense. They'll have to reload at center right. 8.35 remaining. Here's the puck in the near corner. Oh, it takes a weird bounce off the entrance onto the, uh, onto the rink. Esselman has it at the left point. Esselman sends it back, back behind the net. Here's Edwards, centering pass on front! Shot by Cruiser, knocked down by the defense. And it's saved by Grosskamp by the leg save as Esselman holds it on in. Esselman still holds the zone, walks in. Esselman tries to backhand, can't get it off. They get it off on the wing. Does Simon, he can't control. And it's Gauss, couldn't hold it. Here's a shot, long range, but offside whistled against West Salem. 8.02 remaining. Here in the third period, 3-2 lead in favor of West Salem. That hard check in the defensive zone has really woke up the crowd and has woken up the Red Raiders even more here in this period. But they trail by one as the pass up along the near boards. They send it into the zone of the Panthers. Puck is lifted over the net. And, well, I'll tell you what, I, I didn't see if, if it was deflected out or it was just lifted out. You could have very easily called it delay of game if it would have been a little bit more uh, blatant. But they're not. And we'll have a face-off coming up here as it'll load Gauss on the draw. And it's won by West Salem. They come out of the zone with it. Long shot taken there by Zach Cullum. And another tough check in along the board. Thrown by Storley. West Salem still maintains control in the zone. Here's a shot. Oh, out in front. They had a man. They're trying to deflect and cause trouble. That's Hunter Preed. Here's a shot taken. Sits the side of the net. And they come out of there with it as Storley gains control. Storley bounces it off. And the puck played ahead. Coming along the far boards. Digging for it is Overfelt. He can't control. And they send it back in the zone. Dumping it back in with 7-10 left here in the third period. 3-2 lead for West, River, uh, West Salem. Little centering pass, knocked down by the Panthers. at the main. Here's a quick centering pass. Oh, and a quick shot by Overfeld. Couldn't get a stick on it. And on the far side, they jam for it there. Storley bumped off the puck. And now they gain control of it. And a quick little pass right wing side, a little too far for Coles. Gonna roll too far and gonna be an icing call against the Red Raiders. Faceoff coming all the way down to the Red Raider end of the ice. And it'll be in the left faceoff, or right faceoff shot to the left of goaltender Tyler Gilbert. Nobody has lit the lamp here in the third period. And it's a 3-2 lead for West Salem. Here's a shot, oh, and a stick save by Gilbert on a shot in the high, uh, left post or left uh, slot by Cole Trout. And the Red Raiders will send it back out to uh, center ice. Chasing after it there it is Blakesley coming off the corner. It's Conkey with it. They get it in deep. Here's Blakesley on the chase. 
Back behind the net as Sharma will get control at the right point. Sharma sends it in deep again. They go chasing for it as Blakesley will have it. Blakesley trying to clear it free but cannot. And instead they played along the uh, far boards. They jam for it there. Blakesley and they lose control and it comes out to the point. Gets past Esselman back into the Red Raiders end of the ice. 5.55 left here in the third period. Pass up on the left wing side. They're going to say he touched it. So no icing called as the puck comes along the near boards. Jam it for it is Edwards. Edwards trying to get to it. Went right over his own player there as here's Esselman at the blue line. Holds. Esselman with a shot. And the puck deflected away as Edwards had a piece of that one. Here's, here's Esselman again at the blue line. Shot. Knocked down by the defense. Still held in. Here's Schroer. Pass across. Knocked down by the defense. Schroer has it now in the near board. Quick centering pass. Knocked down by the defense. He'll send it back out to center ice. 5.15 left in the third period. Trying to get it out of the zone, and they finally do. And the whistle. Puck played with a high stick by the Red Raiders. Faceoff goes all the way into the Red Raider end of the ice. 5.10 left here in this third period. Face off to the right of Tyler Gilbert and the draw is controlled by West Salem. Along the near boards, they chase after it. Schroer gets it up along the near boards and it's played back in. A long shot rolls in on Gilbert. It's a long shot by Dylan Campbell. On the far boards, chasing after it. Here's Esselman back behind his own net. And they pass it up and head it to Schroer. Schroer trying to get across the blue line. Schroer, stick hands, round one, centering pass. Here's Edwards, the shot over the net. A little too high as he had to hit that rolling puck. Now to the red, to the right point. Here's Sharma with a shot. That's deflected by the defense. To the far corner, they chase after it. They get it up to the left point and it goes over the glove of Esselman. And 4.25 left. Here, Edwards deflects it back into the zone. Rolling back to pick it up is Colton Meyer. Puck played along the near side. They'll get it out to center ice and coming down the slot here is Trapp. All alone, puts the back here, second shot, and a goal! Taylor Trapp, first backhander was stopped and he had a second shot at it, lifted it over the pad of Tyler Gilbert and West Salem now with a four to two lead. going to be 12.52. And a timeout is called. A timeout is called by Wisconsin Rapids. So a timeout called by Wisconsin Rapids. We'll wait for them to get the official thing, but it's Taylor Trapp. They were able to headman it out of the zone. He split the defense, got in on goal, Gilbert made the original save, a good save, a pad save, but the little rebound just laid out there and Trapp just kind of poked at it and he was able to lift it over the pad for the fourth goal of the game and second goal of the game for Taylor Trapp. And Coach Pat McDonald calling that timeout. Wanted to settle his troops down here. He's got four minutes and eight seconds left here in this third period. And there's still plenty of time. You just have to take care of your business and keep hustling and keep working hard. And plus, I'm sure that Coach McDonald also wanted to rest his first line to get him back out there. Starting for West Salem, the leading straight goal, number 26, Bailey Martin. He was assisted by number 28. Well, they're going to give the goal to Bailey Martin. So apparently, Martin got a stick on it rather than Trap on that uh, rebound. So Bailey Martin gets the goal instead, and Taylor Trap with the assist. Time of the goal, 12:52. Now we're under four minutes left. So now it's time to chase and get things going if you possibly can. And coming out of the zone, here's Mormon. Mormon gets it across the red line, across the blue. And an offside is going to be whistled down against 
the Lincoln Red Raiders. The number one line coming back out here for the Lincoln Red Raiders. It will be Schroer, Edwards, and Cruiser. And you will have back on the defense, it will be Storley and Mormon. And the draw is controlled by the Red Raiders as Schroer has it up on the right side. Schroer with a little close-in shot from a tough angle, fires it wide of the mark. They maintain possession, Cruiser. He gets bumped off the play by Trap, and he'll come out of the zone with it. Storley has it. Bounces it off the far boards as he'll try to reload here. As it'll be uh, Mormon working up ahead, but is knocked down by the defense. 320 left in the third period. 4-2 lead for West Salem. Up ahead is Schroer. Schroer gets it into the zone. Knocked down there by the defense. They play it back out of the zone. Storley will dump it back into the zone as we'll go chasing after it. And it's going to be taken back by Cruiser. Tough angle shot. Here's up shot the goal! to send the puck to the net. And that's what happened. Cruiser centered it, and Caleb Schroer backhanded it in, and it's now 4-3 West Salem. So the time of that goal is going to be 14-01. Back to a one-goal deficit. That only good things can happen when you send the puck to the net. And Caleb Schroer with his first goal tonight. You are the red man scoring. So, so Schroer on the goal. So Schroer on the goal, Cruz on the assist, 242 left. And the puck up ice. And with it back handing out the center ice, Luke Gauss. The tail of the trap back in there. And they get across, could be a two on one. If they hurry, here's a shot. And a glove save by Gilbert. Beautiful glove save. On a quick wrist shot by Bailey Martin. So, 2.30 left. Face off will be in the Red Raider end of the ice. Thrower right back out there with Edwards and Cruiser. Here's a draw. Puck. Controlled by the Red Raiders, here's Schroer. Passing up on the right wing, gets it to Edwards. Edwards across the line. Edwards circles, centering pass. Knocked down by the defense. Now gets it up on the wing to Schroer. Schroer at the blue line. He'll have to clear out of the zone. Couldn't control the puck. As Schroer passing it now to Esselman. Esselman reworks it. He'll backhand it off to Cruiser up on the left wing. They get it in the corner and it's going to be a icing call against the Red Raiders. So apparently Esselman on the other side of the red line when he let that pass go. So the faceoff comes all the way down to the red right around of the ice to the left faceoff dot to the right of goaltender Tyler Gilbert. 4-3 lead for West Salem. Here's the draw controlled by the Red Raiders. Two minutes left here in regulation. Here is the puck played ahead and coming across the line. It is Blakesley and offside it's going to be whistled down against the Red Raiders. Jacob Blakesley that time. Coming out there. As we have a little change in lines here again. As you'll have Blakesley out there along with Cody Coles. And they'll also send uh, Luke Gauss out there. They jam for it and chase after it as it's going to be Cody Coles digging for the corner. Coming out of there with it is uh, Taylor Trapp as they try to work it out of the zone and they do but the pass stolen at center ice by Esselman. He's bumped off the puck. Minute 30 left. Here's Trapp back with it. Trapp gets bumped off the puck on a hard check by Esselman. Here's Edwards one on four. Edwards with a long shot. That deflects up on the netting and that'll stop play with a minute 23 left here in regulation. 4-3 lead for the West Salem Panthers. And a timeout is going to be called by West Salem. So West Salem will call a timeout. We'll keep it right here. High School Sports here on AM 1320 WFHR. Proudly brought to you by some great sponsors. People like Paper City Savings. 
Also, Wisconsin River Orthopedics and Solaris, all part of our sponsors on high school hockey here on AM 1320 WFHI. And a reminder, we'll have high school basketball coming up Friday night here on AM 1320 as the Lincoln Red Raider boys basketball team will be in Oshkosh to take Oshkosh North, take on Oshkosh North. Their first tournament game of the season for the Red Raiders and we'll see if Coach Dan Witter and the squad can come up with a, with a regional win and we'll have the broadcast of that game Friday night starting at 6.45 with pre-game programming and 7 o'clock will be the uh, opening tip. So a minute 23 left here in regulation. 4-3 the lead belongs to the Red Raiders. And let's see if the Red Raiders are going to come out. And they will come out with a sixth attacker. The goal is empty to our left. Gilbert is on the bench. Six skaters for the Red Raiders. Here's the draw. Schroer going up against Bailey Martin. The puck is deflected up back in the netting. So we'll do it again. Only five seconds elapsed there. 118 left. Schroer and Martin again. Here's the draw, and it's won by Schroer. Goes back to the point to Esselman. Esselman eludes one. They work it back behind the net. Here's a quick centering pass. Puck comes loose. Here's Edwards. Edwards quick centering pass. They work it towards the slop. It's knocked down by the D. Here's Esselman out high. Esselman with a shot. And out in front, knocked down by the defense. And it's played back into the zone. It'll be an offside, but they should... Uh, go back and take that offside and then get the goalie back on the net. But instead, long shot taken, Esselman has it. 50 seconds left, pass up ahead, too far, and it's passed up along the near boards. Here's Esselman with 45 seconds back in his own end. Passing it to Cruiser. Cruiser, back across the blue line, comes across it, sends it back behind the net. Here's Schroer chasing after it. Schroer plays it up ahead to Edwards. Loses control, here's a long shot, knocked down by Esselman with 30 seconds left. Storley across the line, drops it on in. They chase after it. Here is Trapp trying to gain control. Instead, held along the boards. They work for it. Here's Edwards. Edwards back behind the net, tries to center it. Hits the net. Cruiser, quick centering pass. Puck loose. Here's Storley. Esselman with the draw. Kick saved by Grosskopf. Eight seconds left. Puck played on the boards and off to center ice with three seconds left. Here's a shot. And it's going to go wide, and this game is over. And the West Salem Panthers have upset the number one seed here in this sectional as they beat the Lincoln Red Raiders here tonight by a score of four to three. Four to three victory here for the West Salem Panthers here tonight. And they move on to the sectional final. And that game is going to be played right here at this same rink Saturday afternoon. So the saves in that third period, nine saves for Julian Groskoff. He had nine in that third period. And a game total of 31 saves. Saves in the third period for, for Wisconsin Rapids. Tyler Gilbert, eight for a game total of 22 saves. 